Hi, good morning. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this morning. Now we are going to go ahead and get into Sacred Woman by Queen Afua. We are currently in chapter number three, The Spirit of the Womb. This is going to be take four of this chapter. The title of this section is The Emergence of the Sacred Womb. Journal questions. Do you have 15 minutes for a 15 minute read right now? Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Without further ado, take number four reads. As such, the questions for the Sacred Womb Journal came through intuitively, but not until I'd done a lot of cleaning. It took me a month of baths and putting on clay packs. Then some days the questions would come, but they be disjointed. Finally, it all started to take on a form and a shape as if somebody were actually working through me. I believe the spirit of Newt saw me and said, this is how I want you to do it as you create your womb profile. This is how it's going to work for you. So what I ask of you is to be honest with yourself as you can. Some wound questions you might not want to share with anyone. There may be some things in your womb life that are just between you and your most high. So certainly personal, right? This is your privilege and your honor. Just try to be at peace with yourself. With whatever you're feeling, with whatever hurt your feelings. When you share this with yourself, you can become closer to yourself and begin to flush out and wash out and start all over again in contact with the higher spirit of your womb. This is waking up the womb. When we disconnect from our wounds for whatever reason, then we're not fully able to have an intimate relationship with another person. This compromises our ability to share love from our very center. For if we cannot share from our center with ourselves, then how can we share it in a union? Hmm? It's absolutely never too late to recapture your womb and become a lover and a friend to yourself. Unpin those blocked, painful emotions. Forgive yourself. Bless your womb. Let go from the depths of your womb. Listen to the voice of your womb throughout your meditation and throughout your daily activities. You may get a message during the day just by drinking your womb tea. You may get a message when you wake up because the first mind, the first spirit that comes through you in the morning is the answer to your womb question that you put into your mental computer earlier. You might have asked, why am I so angry about my vagina? Hmm? Or when I look at my womb in the mirror, why did not think it was beautiful? Hmm? You don't have to find an answer when you ask a question. Just go to sleep. When you wake up, it will come to you. And although you may not yet know how to heal from that condition, you'll go ahead and take your bath anyway, 
You'll drink your tea. And maybe while you're in that tub, soaking by candlelight or meditating on the four directions and the foundation, it will come to you. You'll get the idea to say this prayer or to work with this color. You'll get an urge to talk to the elder mother or to send a letter to your mother in the spirit. Then you'll burn it with sage so it can go straight into the cosmos. Record your womb feelings as you explore the many adventures of sacred womb work. Really dialogue with your womb when you do your exercises. Talk out loud. Have conversations. Hmm. Death and life and the power of the tongue. Speak those things that be not as though they are. <laughs> Promote healing. Have a funny ones or deep, serious ones. Say, girl, why are you always all uptight? Hmm? Why are you so serious all the time? That's not in the book. I'm doing a little ad lib, you know. You can't do anything when your womb is locked. How can something get out if it's locked up? How can you have the door open and have something to be free if it's locked? Hmm. Girl, why don't you just try to relax? I'm going to work with you. Let me massage you lightly. All right. It's okay to heal. Have a conversation just the way you talk with everybody else around you. You can have a conversation with your breast or hips. You can say, yes, breast, I love you. I love your soft roundness. Or I love these hips, the cellulite and all, because they're mine. I got the power to work it out. Please remember, when your womb is in pain, particularly with difficulties or challenges or questions come up, it means your womb wants to speak to you. So begin to breathe deeply. Perhaps you won't hear anything after four breaths. Are 10, but by the time you get through 50 to 100 fire breaths, you will truly hear her voice begin to speak. She's been trying to get your attention, so listen with care. And then write down what you hear in your sacred womb journal. You want your womb to recover, right? Hmm? You want peace in your womb. You want to attract good men into your womb and around your womb. You want to attract healthy relationships and healthy babies and good high thoughts. Then take your time for your journal. Take time for you. Your womb is a treasure chest waiting to be explored. So, open it up. You'll find that some questions are more difficult than others. So, you'll say, okay, I'm not ready today. I might be ready by the fifth day. And then you'll still not be ready. It may take you a few weeks or months to look at the issue. It may take getting away for a few days and to nature. But if you make the commitment 
to your womb, your wisdom will come. And this is a picture of contemplating the sacred womb journal questions. And there's a picture right there. Do you see it? Okay. Let's continue right along. This is your opportunity to begin a dialogue with your womb. An opportunity to get to know all of who you really are. What you think. How you honestly feel about yourself. Relationships and events. Your griefs, fear, and anger, both conscious and hidden. The condition of your womb and your sense of yourself as a woman. And finally, your hopes, plans, and visions for the future. If this is your first womb dialogue, don't be afraid or nervous because you're about to meet your wisest, most honest, and most loving friend, the one who will never let you down. Your womb remembers everything but does not judge. Even if she's been surgically removed, her indomitable spirit remains intact within you, ready to communicate with you and to support you. To begin, take up your special pen and journal. Sit quietly in your sacred place, preferably after you have done your sacred bath and meditations and at a time when you know you won't be interrupted for a while. Take several deep breaths. And give yourself a minute or two of quiet breathing as you go deep within. Then simply write your initials at the top of your journal page and ask your womb if she will speak with you. She won't refuse. But do her the honor of asking. For her reply, simply write my womb at the left of the next line and then write down whatever pops in your mind. When nothing more comes, ask your next question. Your exchanges may be long or short. She may have a lot to say or speak only briefly and the same is true for you. Each session will be different and fascinating and healing for you both. You may feel like working through all the questions here in one long session, or you may want to focus on one or two questions at a time and go deeply into what they mean for you. There is no right or wrong way. There is only your way. So you can certainly orchestrate it just for yourself personally regarding answering the questions. And don't worry, we're going to get to some questions. Use the questions that follow to explore your attitudes toward your womb as part of your sacred womb journal work in the privacy of your home. If you choose, you may share your experience in your sacred womb circle. Things to contemplate. Here are seven. Something you might want to discuss with your womb up front is why you might not have dialogue with her before. Two, do you feel that talking about your womb is important? Why or why not? Three, are you friends with your womb? Hmm. Why or why not? Four, how have you silenced your womb? Five, write about what's going on in your life and how this may affect your attitude toward your womb. What does your womb have to say about all this? Ask her. She'll reply directly and honestly. Six, have you divorced yourself from your womb? Hmm? And disown your womb pain? If so, 
How? What band-aids have you used to cover up your wound pain and your dissatisfaction? Food? Drugs? Alcohol? Work? Sex? And so on. How can you help yourself let go of your womb pain? How do you need to alter your life so that you may heal your womb? This does complete take number four. Stay tuned for take number five where we go in to ask your womb about her physical condition. But until then, I certainly want for you to be well, be blessed, be safe. Uh, take care and it be at thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. So until next time, I know I said 15, it's going on 16 right now, but anyway, till next time, later y'all, be blessed.